We do test an awful lot of brand new bikes on the bike show, which is fantastic, but the producers have asked us to do a bit more real world testing. They said, go and find the best value sports tour that you can. That, of course, means going second hand. And it is going to be a very short test because I have found the perfect sports tour. This is a 2011 Honda VFR 1200F. 145 brake horsepower from its wonderful V4 engine, beautifully made, beautifully finished. It's the perfect Honda product, and it is the perfect sports tourer. What's a load of absolute rubbish? What you actually need is one of these, because remember this is sport touring, and we have this. It's an R1200S from 2009, costing just 65,000 Rand, and it is the bike that BMW themselves called the sporty sports tourer. Why doesn't it surprise me that Donovan has completely missed the point again? Sporty. Do you see how he immediately takes the most sporty bike? I'd just like to point out something. His is the only machine here without any panniers, which mine has two very lovely soft panniers, and it is quite obviously the ultimate sport tourer. 2016 Yamaha Tracer with 45,000 Ks on the clock, going for a paltry 79,000 Rand. 847cc triple, 115 horsepower. It's the ultimate package. And I think it sits right bang in the middle of the sporty sports tourer and the big globular thing that Harry's riding. And to prove my point, allow me to express my opinion further. Spreading my bike to the right is actually quite an easy thing to do. For a start, it's the youngest here, about two and a half years, and uh, it's in incredible, immaculate condition, even though it's done those 45,000 Ks. Now, some people might be put off by that kind of mileage, but there's no need to be. Modern bike engines are incredibly reliable. They will breeze through 100, 150, 200,000 Ks if you look after them properly. And that's the secret with this bike. It's wearing its age well, and I'm pretty sure internally it's still as good as new. And why do I know that? Well, that means it's been looked after properly. And anyway, you have to remember that because this is a fired up second hand bike, it comes with a mechanical kind of warranty and basically it comes with two years peace of mind. The bike itself, well, that's easier. It treads that perfect middle ground between the BMW and the Honda. It's not big and bloaty like the Honda, and it's not so minimalist like the sporty sport tour that Donovan's on. This has got a really nice, easy to ride chassis. It likes corners, which I'm not convinced the VFR does. The engine is really going to become one of those classics. The triple cylinder, loads of grunts, decent top end as well. It's just a genuinely enjoyable bike. It's got a set of GV panniers on it, which means it's useful. It does actually have luggage space. The wind protection doesn't look much, but really works. I sat here at allegedly at 180 k's an hour the way here. So, yeah, it's, it's really a perfect all-rounder. It does everything, and it does it pretty damn well. So I walked in the fire up looking for a sports tour. I thought I was going to get something new and modern like an Z1000SX, whatever, something like that. But I saw this thing and I immediately walked straight for it, beeline to it because I wanted this. And the reason is simple. I thought this was an R1100S, not a 1200 because, and I wanted 1100 because that, the 1100 is an X race bike of mine. I used to race one of those. I used to race it in one of the greatest racing classes ever the BMW Boxer Cup Series. It was amazing. The single most fun I've ever had racing, more fun than any superbike. And it was quite simple really. What you did is you leant into a corner until the cylinder touches the ground and then you stop leaning. That simple. But it just shows how much sort of, how much faith BMW had in its sport prowess in that they, met, they actually had a racing series for it. And although we say it's a sports bike, right now where I'm sitting, I mean I'm in a sort of sporty position, but not enough to be uncomfortable. I could sit like this all day. And this is a 10 year old bike. You can see it's sort of a bit old. It's a bit faded. You can see the buttons and all that are a bit faded. But in terms of riding, where I'm sitting now feeling as a, as a riding bike, it feels brand new. I can't tell that this thing is 10 years old. That's how good this is. I 
I'm sorry, but Matt and Don have got it all wrong. They've concentrated too much on sport and not touring, which makes this Honda the best of the bunch, because it really is a sports touring bike. Okay, I'll be the first to admit that things might not be completely rosy in the Honda's garden. It was too heavy for a sports tourer, but too sporty to be a real replacement for the pan-European, which was, by that time, a little long in the two. It was expensive, a little light on electronic goodies, and it had meagre mileage out of its small petrol tank. It didn't sell well, and Honda stopped production in 2017. All those minor criticisms are irrelevant when you ride the VFR 12 and the F. What an impressive machine! That 145 brake horsepower V4 is fantastic. It's smooth and it's punchy. It's a really, really nice engine. It does what it does with absolute efficiency and without fuss. And that's exactly what you want from a long distance, mile eating touring bike. This is a 2011 model has 35,000 kilometers on the clock. It costs you 89,000 rand. It's a lot, a lot of bike for not very much money, which is typical of one of the firing up deals. Exciting, you said. <laughs> exciting, I can't believe you will use the word exciting with the VFR 1200. By the way, why did you pick it? Just before we get into it, Don, you've got a crashed VFR 1200. Uh, well, How do you figure that out? Well, it's got different kind of body panels on. He changed them because he didn't want it all red. No, what he did is he fell asleep and then fell over on it. I that's think that's probably happened. highly likely. Excitement. No, no mm. that bike, I'm not joking, Matt, you'll agree with me, is the most disappointing motorcycle ever. It might yeah, be, it, it might be, but it's still a brilliant bike. No, what, you know what I don't like about that bike is when they launched it, they hummed it up so much. Hide, Remember that? Hi. Remember that concept yeah. they brought out? And we all thought it's going to wow. be a new Blackbird. Yeah. It's going to be the a greatest thing beater. ever. Yeah. It's going to be brilliant. And instead, it's very easy to ride and it has great fuel economy. Okay, okay. Right, if we're going that direction, we said bring a sports tourer. Yes. Yes. I've got panniers. I think. Oh, you, you've yeah, got I've got panniers. two actually. Yeah, me yeah. too. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, it's the touring thing. Uh, yeah. How many? Know. How many panniers have you got? Oh, shame, you diddy dotting old fools. I have panniers. Pair of underwear goes there. Pair of socks goes there. What else do I need? Big pockets. Gentlemen, He's got his underwear. <laughs> yeah. To get your underpants in, you need a bigger pocket <laughs> than that, son. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is rock and roll touring. That's what that is. How much power Sports does yours touring. put out? 110 brilliant horsepower. <laughs> really? <laughs> they obviously have to be brilliant because there's not many <laughs> of them. <laughs> yeah, the Shire horses. They're working really hard. <laughs> I've got 145 horsepower. Yes, and it's still slow. And yours? <laughs> I mean, really? I uh, don't even start because that is, if you could get your professional head on for just a second, that is easily the best bike here. The Explain. sport tour. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, that's not a sport tour. That's just a slightly. That's a naked bike a, with a little screen it's a put glamified, on it. It's hardly a little screen. It's a it glamified is. commuter. That's the what wind is. protection is utterly brilliant. The handling is lovely. It, it's lighter than both of those enormous pieces of lard. So it's actually fun to ride around some corners. The engine has got 115 brake horsepower, which is plenty, before you go into your planet-sized <laughs> bike with 140. I can still wheelie that. How many wheelies have you done on that? I don't wheelie. So no sports in that Tourer then. Yeah, but and by the way, let's not forget, I've got a bike that's barely two and a half years old. Good point. Mine is oh. eight years old. How old is yours? Ten years old. Do, actually, did they still make no. your two bikes new? I mean, the ultimate no. definition no. of a good bike is mine is still made. You can buy this new. Because it was brought out years after those two were brought out. Which means it's better. No. Yes. It's different. They learned from their mistakes that they made with these. So Yamaha learned from Honda's yes. mistakes. No, they didn't. Don't make that BMW. Don't make that Honda. Make a Yamaha Tracer, yes. I'm kind of struggling to argue with them. <laughs> I know, it's sick. <laughs> it's sick. Okay, let's get best bike here, Donovan. Oh, Which mm, is the best sport this touring? Me, this kills me, this yes? kills me, MT09 Tracer. <laughs> kills me. And you? Honda. No, come on now, this is the bit of really? the show where we yeah, become practical be and we now. be honest. Be honest. Honda. Why? It's going to last a million years longer than yours. Yeah, you're just going to be bored for longer. It doesn't matter. I'll sell a bike to ride. You'll be by the roadside, broken down somewhere. So if you want the ultimate sports tour, it's, it's the obviously Honda. the Yamaha Tracer. It's the Honda. It's certainly not his. That's, we can agree on that, can't we? 
Oh, let's go to an ad break so I can punch him. <laughs>